trust me, shit ain't never easy. I just walk my own mile. <laughs> I choose to be here. Hey. I choose to live with no fear. no fear. I choose to keep my head up. Huh? I choose to drop no tears. Huh. Times get hard and it always seems to rain, but I won't give in to the drama struggle. I will never claim. Huh? I choose to love life. I don't accept no strife. Keep my faith in God. Truly blessed to live this life. Hey guys, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. All right, we're going to pull from the Self Love Affirmation deck. If you guys would like to purchase this deck, the link is in the description. You can also check her out on IG at 1111 Affirmation. Give me three cards, okay? Give me one more card of affirmation for the collective. There we go. First one we have, self-acceptance. My opinion of myself is the only opinion that matters. So this is the second reading that I'm doing, and I definitely feel like with the reading that I did previously, it was getting kind of mushed up, so I just I want to get a clear message out. Sometimes the messages don't be clear, and I have to kind of arrange them in a way that you know can be received. Um, but in the message, it was like someone was in a space of having anxiety about moving forward based off of some decisions that were created in the past or decisions that were made in the past. Maybe there was some karma that had to be kind of worked out or some situations, some debts or something that had to be paid off in order for someone to move forward. I feel like if you're in the space of kind of second guessing yourself or questioning yourself moving forward, don't allow your past to hold you back. Whatever you choose to do at this day and time is what you're creating for your future. Anything that happened in your past is a fucking illusion. You can't change it. And if anyone was to hold you back by what has happened in your past, fuck them. You feel me? They can't change it either. They can't do anything about it. All they can do is make their own opinion based off of their own perception of what's going on in your life, which again, don't matter when it comes to you. Um, so I definitely feel like if you're wanting to move forward, you're wanting to make some changes, some decisions in your life, well, out the way, um, you should definitely do that. Um, make whatever changes that are necessary in order for you to gain what it is that you desire. Fuck everybody else. All right, so we got self-worth here. It says, I deserve the best that life has to offer. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really moving into a space of gaining what it is that you want. These are like... Put it like this when you're about to ascend shit starts happening you start getting delays you start getting challenging shit in your life because all of those are put there to kind of test you to see if you're gonna fall back into the same old ways are you gonna give in into what was or are you gonna ascend and you know really choose that i want something different i want something better for myself Self-honor here. I have complete permission to change my mind. So no matter what you decided, you have permission every second of the day to change your fucking mind because this is your life. You the boss. Okay. So let's see what messages we have. We're going to pull from my deck, the Tarot Wisdom deck. You guys like to purchase this. The link is in the description. Okay. You can also check me out on IG at Nichola. It's K-N-E-E-C-H-O-L-A. I spelled it wrong yesterday. <laughs> So let's see. That's not how I spell my name, but that's how I had to spell it on Instagram in order for me to have my name because they already took Nicola. All right. So let's see what messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? got the magician here so i definitely feel like for some of you guys you're really in a space of taking some sort of action you're manifesting some sort of movement within your life and i've seen all of the knights come out what was the jacks in the in the um the uh cartomancy deck the player playing cards um but i see all movement happening so there's definitely some movement that's happening some of you guys have found the motivation to gain victory for yourself um we got gemini virgo energy here we also have cancerian energy here i feel like for a lot of you guys you found the motivation to go through the dark here to kind of move through your fears um and mind you if you're going through the dark that means you don't really know where the fuck you're going <laughs> you don't really know you know what's happening you just know where that little light is leading you the moon so for a lot of you guys follow that light you know what i'm saying it may be a little scary but follow that light and and really move past 
the dark within yourself in order to six pentacles create six pentacles create balance i do feel like you have an opportunity to balance out yourself to balance out your foundation there could also be some things that are happening beyond the scenes for a lot of you guys dealing with some sort of partnership you could be in a space of wanting to balance out a partnership um we also got Pisces energy here. I definitely feel like for some of you guys, you could be motivated to kind of move towards your dreams. Um, there's some balance that's being created in order to bring you some sort of material harvest. So I definitely feel like you're gaining something of value, um, something that you've manifested. Things could be happening beyond the scenes. So you may not be able to see it like evidently, but you're gaining what it is that you desire. So we got the Four of Cups here. For a lot of you guys, that may be the reason why you're in a space of, I feel like you're being triggered here. Even though you found the motivation to kind of create balance for yourself to move and create, you know, stability within your foundation, I definitely feel like your your emotions are being triggered a little bit here um, because you don't see your manifestations taking form. And I feel like you're about to sun and moon here. So this is whatever's in the dark will come to light for a lot of you guys. For a lot of you guys, you may be unhappy about some sort of truth because four of cups before, before that uh, sun card, you could be unhappy about some truth or you could be unhappy about some, some something that that you see something that could have been hidden previously um i definitely still feel like there's some sort of harvest here for some of you guys though you could be harvesting your independence and this is what you've manifested your independence from a situation from a job from a relationship from you know your circumstances you've manifested your independence in some way shape or form but i don't know if you're going to be happy by the way that it falls in place because there could be some I've seen the Page of Swords in the last one, so there could be some challenging information that kind of leads or something challenging that leads to this. So with the Six of Swords here, I mean the Six of Wands, I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, you're moving forward. You got two Sixes here. There's definitely some balance that is being made within your life. Um, King of Pentacles here, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're needing to be confident about these new opportunities. I feel like what was once in the in the dark is coming to light. The thing about it is, Ace of Pentacles, someone is turning down an opportunity here. Um, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you have an opportunity that you're not taking action on um, because you could be in a space of feeling oppressed within your own energy, dealing with some oppressions. Some of you guys could be in a space of turning down an opportunity because of some truth that comes out or something that is exposed. Okay. Um, okay. Hold on, let me write this down. I'm going to take a long... Now, I also feel like with the magician underneath here in the moon, I feel like there was some... some things someone was manipulated either through their emotions um someone could have been emotionally manipulating you someone could have been doing some manipulations in the dark you know doing some little magic some little dark magic you know what i'm saying a little razzle dazzle um and i feel like for a lot of you guys there's an opportunity that is being turned down because there could be some exposure to this someone could be finding out some truths um there's definitely an opportunity that is being turned down Someone is more than definitely turning down an opportunity, okay? And I feel like for some of you guys, this could be information that is like given to you in your dreams. We're in Pisces season. Ain't we still in Pisces season? What's the date? I don't even know the date, y'all. Yeah, we still in Pisces season. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you know, something could be, some messages could be given to you in your dreams that can make you change the way that you feel about a situation or could expose something to you. Pay attention to your dreams, especially in Pisces season, because, I mean, tis the season. You feel me? Uh, I feel like there's an opportunity that someone is very confident about turning down. You feel me? Um, because it's oppressive. It's something that leads to oppression. They know it leads to oppression and someone does not want to be oppressed, especially if someone is emotionally manipulating you. You could be kind of catching on and realizing, hey, this ain't right. What you're doing is not in alignment with what I desire. So some of you guys could also be, you know, allowing your concerns to fade away with something that you deem is a is a delay to what it is that you want to achieve or have within your life. So we got chariot energy here. Why is the chariot energy here? We got three of pentacles here. So I feel like someone has found the motivation to put some things in motion. Um, six of cups here could be dealing with some sort of cooperation here. Ace of swords. There could be some clarity here around some sort of cooperation. Yep. So what's happening here is I feel like there now some of you guys this could be dealing with someone in your past. Um, we got queen of wands here. Could be dealing with someone that was in the space of 
you know, um, being highly motivated, highly energetic. Uh, could also, sometimes the Queen of Wands can sometimes be, you know, I don't like to say this because I'm not saying that fire signs are like promiscuous. That's not what I'm saying. But sometimes the Queen of Wands can be like, portrayed as a like a succubus or portrayed as like someone that is like very sexually you know coming you know they got a lot of passion um but i feel like this for some of you guys this could be some of you guys could be finding the motivation to cooperate with someone from your past um I feel like based off of some sort of clarity that you have, um, you could be in a space of choosing to have some sort of victory within a cooperation. For some of you guys, this is either dealing with past history, like this one is dealing with someone that you have had some history with, or this is, could be dealing with someone that you have kids with. You could have might have found the motivation to kind of face your fears is what it looks like. Um, I don't think this is a reconciliation. I think this is someone that is motivated to face their fears around a situation, especially if this is a situation where, again, there's been some sort of emotional manipulation here. So we have the moon energy here. Why is this moon energy here? Why is this moon energy here? We got Ace of Swords. So yeah, something that was hidden is coming to light here. Um, definitely here. I feel like with the Two of Wands here, someone would have, was at a crossroads about a situation. There was some lies, some deception. So, okay. Somebody was lying about some shit. Um, I feel like it's coming to light. I feel like now is the time that it's coming to light. And someone was... And I feel like this is because someone was at a crossroads about putting an end to a difficult situation. Could have been feeling stuck. Could have been feeling kind of lost. Feeling like there's a lot of secrets, a lot of um, things that were hidden. I feel like there was some things that were hidden. I feel like there was either some emotional ma manipulation or someone was manipulating um, in another way. And I feel like now someone is choosing to take some sort of action here to really stabilize or create some sort of balance within this connection in order for them to overcome and or, or bring something to light that was hidden. So we got the Six of Pentacles here. I feel like there was a lie, to be honest with you, because Seven of Swords moon card is a goddamn lie. Someone was hiding the truth, um, willfully hiding the truth, choosing to hide some sort of truth. So we got Six of Pentacles here with the Seven of Pentacles. I definitely feel like someone is balancing out a foundation in order for them to really make some sort of investment. Someone's choosing to invest. Um, Eight one, someone's choosing to invest in moving forward. Two of Cups, so someone could be choosing to invest into a relationship. King of Wands here, really focusing on moving forward or focusing on creating some sort of balance. Okay, so we got Three of Pentacles. This is definitely dealing with a partnership. So we have Nine Wands here, Ace of Pentacles. I feel like someone's finding the strength here to move toward a new opportunity here. Um, a new opportunity with. It looks like somebody is choosing to move toward a new opportunity with a new potential partner or a new opportunity that would potentially bring emotional fulfillment. Now, what is happening here, I definitely feel like there's some sort of partnership that someone here is wanting to balance out. I do not feel like it's the same partnership that there was some things hidden on. So I'm going to be real with you. I feel like someone was from what I'm gaining here, someone has found the motivation to face their fears and balance out a partnership. The fears are stemming from a previous partnership where there may have been some deception or someone could have been in a space of being emotionally manipulative and that could have like that could have burned someone. That could have made someone not want to, you know, invest in anything else moving forward. But I feel like someone is facing those fears in order for them to, you know, be clear within their movements and really balance out a partnership so this don't have to be romantic say for instance you were at a job where you were dealing with someone who like and this happens at, at jobs all the time y'all uh I, I had to deal with a couple jobs where people was you know manipulating me like oh you know i, I need you to come in this such such day we don't have nobody to fill in and da 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 da, da. And my ass would go because, oh, they need somebody. Like, I don't want to leave them without. But let me tell you something. When, it come, when you're dealing with situations like that where you got a boss that kind of manipulates you into coming to work or tries to give you the woe is me, um, I'm going to be short-handed, short staff. Listen, if something happens to your ass, they're going to be short staff. But I bet you they find somebody to fill that position quick, fast, in a hurry. Don't you break your neck on um, going to work or, or, or doing all out of all things out of your comfort zone for a job. 
You feel me? I'm not telling you your job is important. Don't. That's not what I'm telling you. If you feel like your job is important, you need to be there. By all means, do what you need to do. But I feel like this is a situation, whether it's a job, a relationship, a friendship, a family situation, where someone was being emotionally manipulated into, you know, doing more or being in a situation that, that, that was not healthy, that was either codependent or downright fucking lie. And I feel like the truth is coming out. Now, someone may not be happy about the truth, but I feel like it's necessary in order for a person to free themselves from this situation. Like, whatever this is, someone was being manipulated into either being here or providing or staying or working or whatever. And I feel like the burden is about to be released because someone's turning down an opportunity that is being extended. So say, for instance, this is someone from your past that you had a lot of issues with. You feel me? And there was a lot of deception within the situation. There was a lot of lies. They could be coming back around like, hey, can we work it out? You could be like, hell to the fuck no. Because <laughs> you was a motherfucking, you was an asshole then and you still an asshole. Uh, even if you ain't a asshole, the situation is just not something that I want to involve myself in. So four cups here. I definitely feel like there's some discontentment. Um, yes. 662. So I feel like someone is really unhappy with the situation. Um, six of Wands here with the Six of Pentacles here. Someone here is really wanting to kind of balance out their own energies, balance out their foundation by making positive decisions for themselves, making positive investments. Six plus two is eight pentacles. So someone is unhappy because they were dealing with a situation that was not balanced, that was in low vibration, and someone's wanting to move away from that in order to create some sort of balance within their life. We got sun energy here. Why is the sun energy here? Why is the sun energy here? All right, so we got queen of pentacles here. 10 cups here. I mean, nine cups here. So for some of you guys, there's some sort of clear. Oh, I'm sorry. Queen of cups here. Nine of cups here. For some of you guys, it could be some sort of clarity. So for some of you guys, I feel like with the ace of wands here, you could be in a space of taking action here. Nurturing what you feel could be dealing with a mother figure. I feel like with the nine of cups here and the ten of cups. Now, nine of cups, ten of cups is definitely good energy. You feel me? That is emotional fulfillment. Um, that is emotional mastery. That is um, like you know, wish fulfillment. Some of you guys could be gaining wish fulfillment. You could be moving toward happiness. But in order for you to do that, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Wands, you're releasing something or you're letting go of some sort of burden. You're no longer accepting, uh, a, you're letting go of a life that was a burden for you in order to move toward happiness for you. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, you could also be in a space of allowing your concerns to fade away. No longer concerned with what was previously here. No longer concerned with what previously made you unhappy in order to create happiness for you. So we got six of wands here. Why is the six of wands here? Knight of Wands. So I definitely feel like there's some movement. Knight of Wands and Six of Wands is definite movement here. Some of you guys, again, like I said, you're moving because you were unhappy about your circumstance. So I definitely feel like with the Queen of Pentacles here and the Eight of Cups, you're really nurturing your own foundation, abandoning success of what was in order for whatever made you unhappy, you're abandoning success of that in order for you to move toward happiness for yourself. I feel like you've made a decision and there's victory within that. Um, but you're definitely, you're definitely moving away from something. So we got the King of Pentacles here. Why is this King of Pentacles here? Why is this King of Pentacles here? Oh, shit. We got Seven of Swords here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be in a space of... Now, King of Pentacles could have been in a space of dealing of lying, of doing some deception. Ten of Wands here. I feel like someone was is now in a space of kind of confidently accepting an opportunity escaping some sort of circumstance some sort of situation four of wands here with the nine of pentacles i feel like someone is making plans to gain their independence very confident about that but i feel like now there could be some deceptive energy around that i feel like someone's making a choice to willfully escape um again a burden here someone's escaping some sort of burden they're escaping it by gaining their independence now i don't know if they're doing it the correct way because <laughs> I definitely feel like there's some movement that's happening. Someone could be in a space of trying to manipulate some sort of energy in order to free themselves. And that could be emotional manipulation. You know how people start fights um, in relationships, especially in like toxic situations. People start fights in relationships. In order, say, for instance, I, I had a relationship one time 
where every time the guy that I was with wanted to like go out and hang out with his friends, he started an argument. And I used to be like, you ain't got to fucking argue if you want to leave. Just walk your ass about the fucking dough. Like you a grown ass man. The reason why we were getting going back and forth all the time because it's lies that come before you decide you want to do some shit because you feel like you got to be sneaky about it instead of being a whole grown ass adult and just be, hey, I want to go somewhere. I want to do something. Okay, fucking do that. What I'm going to tell you, no. You feel me? You grown, I'm grown because I ain't going to let you tell me no. But... I feel like someone could be in a space of choosing to be deceptive in their actions in order to manipulate what it is that they want. With that being said, I do feel like there's an opportunity that's going to be turned down. And I feel like there's some burdens that are going to be released. It's going to be like the end of some sort of oppression here. So someone could try to start an argument with their significant other this weekend because this is for the weekend. Um, to go out, to chill, to be with somebody else. And their significant other going to be like, you know what? Just fucking stay. Like, don't fucking come back. So we got Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Nine of Swords here. What they say, you ain't got a lot of kick it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got a lot of kick it. You, listen, if you want to go and do what you go do, go do what you go do. You ain't got a lot of me, goddammit. So we got Ace of Pentacles here with the Nine of Swords. I definitely feel like someone is turning down an opportunity because they're dealing with some sort of anxiety here. Seven of Wands here, really resisting something new. King of Pentacles here, King of Swords. I feel like, I feel like there's a mastering of a foundation and mastering of... Someone's mastering themselves and mastering their mind, turning down a foundation because it brings them anxiety. I feel like there's a lot of resistance that's happening here. Um, and I feel like the resistance is happening because someone is wanting to release some sort of burden. So even say, for instance, even if this is someone that is lying, that is in a space of, you know, trying to create issues emotionally manipulate someone in order to escape a situation, they're subconsciously manifesting their own freedom allow it to happen you feel me like don't fight it allow it to fucking happen so we got the ten of wands here why is this ten of wands energy here why is this ten of wands energy here we have the knight of swords here so i definitely feel like someone is releasing some sort of burdens and taking some sort of action this is a willful energy so someone is willfully releasing burdens by resisting taking on something that is oppressing them. Um, I feel like someone is moving forward here. Now, they could have taken their time to do this, but I feel like someone is moving forward definitely. Six of Swords here. This is someone's moving forward because they're dealing with some regrets and some challenges around a situation. Someone is really in a space of feeling challenged, uh, feeling restricted. Someone wants to be free is what it looks like. It just looked like somebody want to be free. All right, so you want to be free, fly, little birdie? <laughs> fly. All right, so let's see what guidance we have for the collective moving forward. All right, we got enlightenment, logic, soulmate, and spirituality. So someone is becoming very enlightened um, around someone's thinking or, or around someone's um, decision making in regards to dealing with a soulmate. So I'm going to be real with you. It looks like someone could be in a space of trying to escape a situation in order to move toward who or what they feel is a soulmate for them. Could be a good soulmate, could be a bad soulmate. I don't know. It's not my business. Um, but I definitely feel like someone has manifested some sort of movement within their life. Or, or movement within a connection i feel like this is happening um someone is becoming um enlightened um a, about the path that they need to follow whether or not they're following it in the right way or wrong way someone's following the path here that's all i got <laughs> until next time y'all